Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the first devlog for my project, which I'm going to be calling Rocket for now. This is the first devlog I've ever done for any channel or project, so it's probably going to be pretty bad. Uh, I know my microphone's the worst, so hopefully I'll be improving stuff as this series continues. I had an old mobile project I worked on about three years ago, which was titled Rocket Also. What you're seeing now are some old GIFs I was able to dig up from Twitter. The game is quite basic. You control a rocket ship using about two buttons. One propels you left, and the other propels you right. The best way of describing the intended movement is kind of like rowing a boat. Originally, you would feel your way around the controls and fight gravity to balance and control your rocket. However, gravity seemed too hard of an obstacle for the players to get around. I didn't even know it was an issue, but that's because I was making the game, so I was very used to the controls. Once the controls were mastered, one using them could fly the ship just with feeling. Basically, you'd be madly tapping at both of the buttons, kind of balancing yourself. If anyone's ever flown a helicopter in Battlefield 3 or played Rocket League, it's similar to how you feel your way into flying in those games. You kind of just do it. The project could then be described as a sort of Twitch reaction physics platformer? That's the basic idea anyways. I enjoyed the original, and so did some of my friends that I tested it on. So my new humble idea is this. A feel-based movement system with a ship management system, maybe relatable to FTL. Levels generated similarly to Spelunky levels. There's a few videos you can find on that, I'm sure. A small resource gathering mechanic. And at first I was going to include programming into the core gameplay of this project, but I'm not sure that I'm going to have programming in it anymore. We'll see as the project goes on. I began by attempting to recreate some of the gameplay of the mobile version from three years ago. So I aimed at being able to start the rocket, but this time I wanted some more complex means to turn on the rocket, such as following a few steps like turning on the ignition, fueling the rocket with a specific amount of fuel. That's kind of where the FTL mechanics come into play. Next, I attempted to add some programming elements to the game. The idea was that you would have to program every control for your spacecraft. Do you want to turn on your rocket? You have to program a function and map the key calling the in-game programming language. Do you need to make your rocket ship hover? Play around with the force values to get that perfect lift. So I'm using Unity, but I've never used the Unity UI because I'm dumb. So I slowly developed different UI elements for the scripting feature. I made a window for mapping keys to functions. I made a window for adding new functions. I made a window for scripting those new functions. And I made a window for statuses. I had the idea to make the player a separate entity from the rocket. I could enter and exit the spacecraft to gather materials maybe, or open obstacles, maybe repair the ship in certain places. As I want the game to have levels generated in the same fashion as Spelunky and have some sort of resource gathering or mining mechanic, I decided to follow a Marching Cubes tutorial to generate the visuals and colliders for the level. First, I made the ability to create a single chunk which visuals and colliders could be manipulated at runtime. The chunks are very similar to those you would find in Minecraft, they're just split up into sections for performant reasons basically. So this was done in Unity with custom mesh code with the tutorial and a mesh collider component. After a single chunk was created successfully, I attempted to add more chunks, first starting horizontally.
After lots of iterating, I moved to add the chunks vertically. And after lots of polish, I came up with something like this. Finally, I'm able to add some colors and other materials to the level. This, in the future, will allow me to add things for mining, such as dirt, stone, gold, etc. And in the end, I played around with destroying blocks and be able to collect their resources. However, this is where things spiraled out of control. Because of the perceived performance impact of the built-in Unity physics, for the next one to two weeks, I spent time converting my whole game from traditional Unity programming into Unity ECS, or Entity Component System. This is the next gen way, blah blah blah, it's cooler way of programming in Unity. You, know, you get what I'm saying. This also comes with the ability to use Havoc physics, which makes physics simulation just so much cooler. So that's where this leaves us. Hopefully by next video, I'll have a way to start generating levels and possibly some more things to do with the rocket. Thanks for watching.